Okie dokie, so people were asking me how the hell did I get a one orb, one awakener's orb, awakened war doorways, which means I got him on the first try, with no dying, no teleporting out, none of that, I went in and came out victorious, and this is apparently so special and so unheard of that people, even some people in my clan, uh, I assume they're very unhappy people, might, might I add, because I don't see why you would have to bring someone down for the achievement instead of, you know, being happy for them and asking them for tips. But regardless of that, um, here is the someone else for proof in my comments. Here you go, one kill count and all that. And it was for it was actually not too slow either. It could be faster, but like you know, obviously I wasn't going for PBs. So what I've done. First of all, I have 218 normal kill count of others before I even attempted uh, the Awakened version. I actually had 210 at the Awakened kill, but I did like 8 more afterwards, just so you guys know. Um, and the way I've done it is I have practiced on normal world doorways in a very specific way. Let me show you guys, alright? Let, let's just get, the, get him. So we do this. He's just gonna hit me, a lot of times, you know, let the axes come. One, two, one, two, one. That's the timing I've did for, done, done for this axe. However, of course, this will not always work, especially in the enrage phase, because then you'll have two axes at the same time. And it won't always match up with the timing, especially with the heads coming out. Two heads at the same time, you can have to click at very awkward moments. Oops, that was my mistake. Uh, but yeah, the idea is that you're supposed to learn perfectly in a way that you personally, you, not someone else on YouTube, but you personally can memorize. Um, each X swing sound effect is also um, one tick, right? So it's a really easy, a really easy um, audio cue, right? Like one, two, three, four, and you have to sync the movements and the prayer switches um, with that, plus the head attacks, which also like they hit you. Two, two, three, prayer. Oops. One, two, three, prayer. Okay, so the axes are key, right? That's what you should focus on. You should have a defensive mindset. I don't greet for DPS. At some points, there will even be points, especially in the enrage phase of Awakened Verdoris, where you won't attack the boss at all. All you're gonna do is stay alive and then find the right moment to attack. Like there's gonna be moments where you won't attack the boss for like even you know more than 20 ticks, more than more than several seconds. You're just gonna dodge the axes and get the prayers and walk off the tendrils. Because that's priority, because it's gonna be the axes that kill you. Even if you mess up a prayer flick, which I did at the end, it's the axes that will kill you. The rest you can survive. Right? But here's what I did. Here's the key. I'm just gonna start killing him because I'm gonna need some head pops up pop-ups for this to be demonstrated properly. Okay, he's low HP, there we go. Range, mage, and melee. Range, mage, and melee. Even though it's only one head, right? It's no one about There's only one head. You are supposed to practice the prayer switch of range, mage, melee. Because we have a tick in between his attack. Because it's the same exact attack speed as in the awakened one. So you can practice that. So you get ahead. I'm gonna get ahead soon here. And then as you move, range, mage, or melee. I was too slow there. Man, I'm out of practice. It's been a while. Range, mage, melee. There you go, just like that. And you also have to dodge the axes at the same time. Of course. Range, mage, melee. Range, mage, melee. Keep in mind not to get too used to range being first, because that's not gonna be always first, it's gonna be mage sometimes, because, you know, Awakened Warriors has both heads, and they attack in a random order. But this is the same idea, it's just about the timing. See the projectiles that you're gonna see, a statue. I highly recommend the Vardoris Heads Projectiles plugin. Uh, this one. Download this one. Okay, let's get a normal kill in here with a normal pace. One, two, three, four. 
range mage melee like that and this is the best training you guys want to get as much of this as what just happened as possible one x here one x here and then as you're moving get ahead that's the best training for your for your mind and your hands because that's what you're gonna be needing perfection of in order to get wardoris at all let alone first try which i believe you guys can do it this is not some that i'm not like some special incre incredible wizard you know with a magic wand i'm just someone who took the time to learn the mechanics and to practice the right way see just like that and then dodge that's it no rush Oh yeah, for the people wondering, I get a comment on my Vardors video of uh, showing the the cases and you know the statistics of the awakened of all of the bosses, which I think I did in the clan, but I have not done on YouTube. So my, I mean, your wish is my command. That's uh, whisper. It was twenty one orbs, but I teleported before dying in ten of them. So it only shows eleven. Let me show you guys the. Uh, the wonderful oh I can okay yeah, I can. let me show you guys the wonderful Dukes with helps my first awakened and him I was studying quite a bit too his mechanics are the most unique it's entirely different from the ones of the rest of them which is essentially just a bit more difficult but the same mechanics right as the normal one but with Duke nope it's entirely different stuff look at all of those ties man it gives you a headache if you don't even know what they mean and you just see them so here is the awakened four i got him on the fifth try mister this is my normal stats um let's go to the last one you guys have seen what is now let's go to the scar the leviathan he is also very very special Special boss to me because he was the last one for me and he took nine attempts and Him I have done the same thing as with for Doris if you guys are curious about what I've done exactly Comment below and I'm gonna show you the same thing as I've done with for Doris or how I practiced Awakened was nine. There you go. Here's the wonderful proof and here's my normal uh, cases This is about the amount I've done before I was like, okay, you know what? I'm ready now. I can do this. Let's go Yeah Thank you for watching, bye bye.